Hi guys, I'm back with three ways to cut off a hater friend. And it seems like it should be logical that you just go up to the person and be like, look, you're breaking, you're breaking my boundaries. You're making me feel some type of way. Stop doing it or just leave me alone. And they should just comply with that. Like who wants to hang out with someone who don't like them or whatever. But this isn't always the case, especially if you're, if you're friends and now you're trying to cut them off. Um, these are people too, and sometimes they're some of the most sensitive people, and it can lead to more tension in the future. So these are the three ways, the three best ways to cut off a hater friend, in my opinion. Number one, treat them like debt collectors. This is the frame of mind I want you to have. You already know what it is when a debt collector collector calls you, you already know the mood that you're, you they put you in automatically, an on-guard mood. And this is the same way, this is the best example I could come up with to automatically put you in a state of mind to handle these haters. So they trying to put you in their debt. They want you to admire them. So at the end of the day, they can control you. Haters, they're only out for their benefit so everything you say they're gonna use it against you so number one treat them like debt collectors number two which kind of goes along with number one and it's really just an extension on how you should proceed with it is stop telling a hater your business they're only interested in their ideas they're posing as friends as an opportunity as an opportunity to manipulate you for their gain. It's always their intentions, hands down. So keep the conversation light and keep the conversation on them. Talk, talk about them and less about you. Remember, you have the right to remain silent. And it's not just for the cops. So if someone's trying to violate your silence, you already know where they stand. You know what I'm saying? Haters function on information. They really don't know how to handle you without the information you give them. So the less information you give them, you disarm them. So it's just like a car. They need gas to move around. Yeah, follow this rule and let the conversation run its course naturally. Like if it's a real friend, you can, you can have a conversation with silence. Don't force the conversation. If there's awkward silence, let it be. Just listen and say less. You know, I know this advice is going to be hard for people who are empaths, people who are people pleasers, but this is actually better than setting boundaries. If you don't like to approach people, you know, if you don't want to confront someone, just be comfortable with silence, you know? And this is an opportunity to, opportunity to practice it. You know, you wanna make space for people who appreciate you and your flow. Don't be afraid to be yourself. You want people around you that respect you by default. By doing this subconsciously, you're setting boundaries. This way you don't have you know, any tension, this is who you are. They will feel it, and if they violate, violate that, it's obvious. Number three, don't ignore them. I know you see them calling, texting, you post something on the gram, they're watching you, they, they wanna pull up, don't ignore them, you know? I know it, it's natural to ignore things you don't want, but um, a lot of times, ignoring someone has the opposite effect. It's actually a psychological effect. It's reverse psychology, a matter of fact. So this is the type of strategy you would use to get your ex back in your life. So don't ignore them. That's it for the video, guys. Three ways how to cut off a hater friend. Peace.